Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sheridan. Today's video, I would say it's a how-to, but it's actually mostly me figuring out if this is even gonna work, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to try to repurpose these clothes and make them look cool, kind of like vintage or just like, I don't know, like Yeezy-esque, I guess. I'm not sure what the word is that I'm looking for here. I figured I would try to bleach them in different artistic ways and see how it goes. And I thought, why not share this with you guys? So honestly, this is just a disclaimer. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing uh, in this video or life in general. <laughs> If you'd like to see me attempt to make some clothes that I ruined myself look cooler, stay tuned. What happened? Let me tell you the story. I have this pair of black pants that I love dearly, but they actually don't even fit me anymore, so I was co coincidentally washing them for the very last time in order to sell them, right? Or at least donate them or whatever I'm gonna do with them, I don't know. At this point, I might burn them. Normally I separate out all of my laundry by color and for this one time I didn't like I didn't have that much to wash So I just put it all in there and really even if I would have separated it out I don't think I would have saved much because let me show you there's three items this you, Of course, they don't really lose much right now, but this is just like a t-shirt dress. It's actually an oversized men's t-shirt, but whatever so you can see it got this like black residue marks like all over this is actually the back of it by the way the front has a pocket and then there's this hoodie which first glance like it doesn't look that bad like whatever this is the back of it also um but here you can see like the sleeve and there's this hoodie it's a crop hoodie as well really cute caramel color now it has this black on it okay so i just went in my guest bathroom i know the lighting isn't the best in here but I just kind of threw the first crop hoodie in the sink like so. You can see I'm going to be using plain Clorox bleach. And this one is the first one, so I have no idea. But let's just, let's just, I'm going to try to pour a little bit and just kind of random. And then I'm going to turn it around, flip it back over. Effects are not going to be immediate, obviously. Um, I'm gonna do a little more. Wow, that's a lot more. Uh, okay, so really, as I said before, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of swirling it around in the sink now, hoping it sops up any extra bleach. It's starting to look like it's working. It really looks like it's taking away the gray part. All right, so either the smell of the bleach is getting to me or this is starting to look kind of cool. Can't really tell, it's probably both. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna hang it up right up here. And I'm gonna let it kind of dry onto the next. Next I have the t-shirt dress. I'm actually gonna put this and kind of twist it like you do for tie-dye. So I've kind of twisted it all up there. And same thing, I'm just gonna randomly pour little by little. Hope that it turns out okay. I'm gonna kinda swirl it and then flip it over. Do the same thing. Again, I'm just moving it around, making sure to keep it in the sink and not on me. Okay guys, this one actually looks really cool. I don't know how well you can see it, but this one looks kind of awesome so far, so I'm happy I'm gonna hang it up. Okay, so next is the hoodie, and I've kind of just crumpled it up and moved things around so you can kind of see like the sleeves and the hood, kind of every part of it. Same thing, here we go. I don't know why I'm like so nervous for this one. This is official, it's happening. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see it drying already. That's cool, so it is looking cool. So I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing. I probably don't need to be using so much, but it's kind of hard to pour out of this big of a thing. All right, so I have hung all the items. Don't mind the washer. Oh yeah, I hung all the stuff up. I'm gonna leave it for, I don't know, like a couple hours and then go about my day. When I come back, I will wash it and then I will hopefully see what it looks like 
this can go either way. It can turn out really dope or, uh, you know, if anything, you'll just laugh at this video of me pouring bleach on my clothes thinking it'll make them look cool. Win-win. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I've already washed all the clothes and dried them, obviously. I'm wearing one of the cropped hoodies and this honestly is the only one that turned out okay. This DIY project was a complete fail. And I'm just going to admit that now. Because the other two, the t-shirt dress and the other hoodie, completely just like all bleached. Like the whole thing. Somehow the splatter like didn't stick like it did on this one. So but this one turned out pretty cool. Like I would actually like wear this and like go around and feel cool in it. Like I think it turned out really cute in the splatter and everything. I know it's kind of hard to tell like with the lighting, but I think this one turned out good. The others I'll show you totally got bleached like all the way. They're just plain bleached. And I guess I could probably wear them like this, but <laughs> this did not turn out the way I thought it would. So you can just laugh at me. No, you win some, you lose some. I think I lost this one. <laughs> I mean, this definitely turned out cute. Like, I'll wear this, but the others, not so much. So if you enjoyed watching me fail at this DIY and you'd like to see more content from me, please subscribe to my channel before you leave. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've ever tried something like this in the comments, um, because I'd like to know I'm not the only person who's failed at this. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.